good day everyone we will configure read only routing for always on availability group in this video let's get started this is the always on availability group environment that i'll be utilizing for this demo jbs ag1 jbs ag2 and jbs ag3 or standalone database servers as far as the availability group is concerned JBS AG1 and JBS AG2 or uh, the synchronous replica and JBS AG3 is the asynchronous replica. So what we'll do, we will try configuring a read only routing and then uh, we will try a connection from um, say uh, SQL CMD or from the SSMS and uh, what we'll do is like we will try connecting to uh, the primary replica using an application intent is equal to read only switch and then we will see if uh, that connection is uh, basically getting uh, transferred to uh, JBS AG2 and JBS AG3. Read only routing refers to the ability of SQL Server to route qualifying read-only connection requests to an available always-on readable secondary replica. A replica that is configured to allow read-only workloads when running under the secondary role. To support read-only routing, the availability group must possess an availability group listener. Read-only clients must direct their connection request to this listener and the client's connection string must specify the application intent as read-only. That is, they must be read intent connection request. Read-only routing is available in SQL Server 2016 and later. Let's discuss on the prerequisites as far as read-only routing is concerned. The availability group must possess an availability group listener one or more availability replicas must be configured to accept read only in the secondary role. You must be connected to the server instance that hosts the current primary replica. Beginning with SQL Server 2016, you can configure load balancing across a set of read only replicas. Previously, read only routing always directed traffic to the first available replica in the routing list. To take advantage of this feature, use one level of uh, nested parenthesis around the read underscore only underscore routing underscore list server instances in the create availability group or alter availability group commands. Let's create a read only routing. Uh, let's open the SSMS uh, looking at the uh, always on availability group dashboard. JBS AG1 is the primary replica. So let's uh, uh, connect to uh, JBS AG1, which is your primary replica. And then what we'll do is like first we will uh, alter the availability group and then set the uh, connections, um, uh, read only connections here. And then what we'll do is like, we will um, define the read only routing URL for uh, JBS AG1. Let's execute that. Let's do the same thing for uh, JBS AG2 and uh, JBS AG3 as well. Let's execute that. This is done. Now what we'll do is like, we will uh, uh, basically create the routing list first for uh, JBS AG1. So in this case, what I'm doing is like, I'm uh, defining the read only routing list uh, for uh, JBS AG1. And then um, uh, as far as JBS AG1 is concerned, read only routing list consists of uh, JBS AG3 and AG2. So if uh, you look at it here, what I'm basically doing is like I'm having an, um, a parenthesis included uh, within this read only routing list, which basically uh, performs an uh, load balancing uh, here. So what happens is like when we connect to uh, uh, this listener and then we have an um, read only switch what happens is like uh, the load balancer um, uh, happens and uh, every time a connection comes in it basically uh, moves uh, the connection to first to jbs ag3 and then next to uh, jbs ag2 so this is how it works for example if i remove these two uh, uh, parentheses here uh, this parenthesis and this parenthesis then what will happen is like every time you uh, connect to um, uh, the listener and if the primary replica is JBS AG1, then what it will do is like it will uh, just uh, uh, send your uh, read only connections to JBS AG3 only. And uh, starting from 2016, uh, we have this um, 
extra road balancing stuff as well as the read only routing uh, which uh, gets activated if uh, we basically give this uh, parenthesis here yeah? so in this case what happens is like it uh, um, uh, basically uh, routes the uh, read only connection uh, uh, depending upon what replicas we have given here yeah? and this way we will be able to use the available replicas and um, um, that way in case if our read only uh, workload is um, a little high in a little at the higher side then what happens is like this load balancing can really really help us so let's uh, execute this let's do it for uh, jbs ag2 also so for jbs ag2 the read only routing list is uh, jbs ag3 and ag1 so let's execute that and for jbs ag3 replica the read only routing list is jbs ag2 and ag1 so let's execute that one as well Cool. So now what we'll do is like we will try connecting to uh, the listener and then uh, see if our read only connections are basically uh, getting routed to the secondary replicas. Let's uh, try connect uh, to um, um, uh, command prompt and then we will uh, try seeing if you are able to use the read only routing list. So what I'm going to do is like I'm uh, going to refresh um, uh, the primary replica here and also look at the properties of the availability group and then uh, see the uh, read only routing uh, uh, tab in the availability group properties and if you can see here it basically tells like uh, as was the read only routing list for JBS AG1 available replica is AG1 and uh, read only routing list is AG2 and AG3 JBS AG2 and AG3 likewise for JBS AG2 and uh, JBS AG3 also we are able to see the details so now what we'll do is like we will note down the listener name and then we will f try connecting to this um, uh, listener using um, 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 a read-only switch. So let me use the SQL CMT. I will use the SSMS data. I'm uh, just going to uh, uh, show like I've uh, done a, um, uh, just um, a small mistake purposefully uh, just to make sure like in real world if this issue happens, uh, how we can solve it. But let's look at this first. So JBS APP is my uh, listener name. And then let me connect using Windows authentication and then I will use a, a switch called read only. So if I enter it, well and good, I'm able to um, connect to the listener using the read only switch. And then let me try creating, uh, let me try, uh, check the uh, uh, replica to which I've connected using select at its server name. If you see here, I'm uh, basically connected to JBS AG1 only, that is your primary replica. Even though I have used uh, the switch read only, I'm still connected to JBS AG1. That is because uh, I'm not given the database name that is um, uh, part of this availability group. Uh, to connect to that is the reason um, uh, uh, my connection is not routed to uh, one of the available secondary so in this case um, since uh, I wouldn't mention any database here basically it makes a connection to the master database and uh, since it is an um, uh, system database uh, the read only connection even though we have given the our, um, um, uh, switches um, uh, read only it is still pointing to uh, uh, the primary replica only so now what I'll do is like I will um, connect to uh, the database uh, JBS wiki which is part of this availability group JBAG so let me check that so it is trying to uh, make a connection let's see what happens if it is able to connect to it so what I'm seeing here, here is like it is basically telling that uh, I'm getting an error which is basically SQL CMD error Microsoft ODBC driver 17 for SQL server TCP provider no such host is known so this is the error that I'm getting right now so I'm getting this error as soon as I try to um, uh, use the read only routing list um, uh, the error basically tells like no such host is known so let's look at the um, a query again that we have used and uh, what it is basically trying to do is like when we try to uh, uh, connect to the primary replica there seems to be some problem with um, uh, 
the routing URL. So in this case, it is uh, JBS AG1, um, which seems to be okay. Uh, but what is happening is like uh, the domain name here is uh, the FKDN is not proper. So let's let's try uh, pinging um, um, JBS AG2. And then if you see here, it is basically uh, jbsbiki.com, but uh, here we have used as uh, jbs.com. So that is the reason uh, we are getting this error. Just to, um, um, uh, I've seen this happening um, uh, many times uh, in real world. So that's the reason I just want to uh, showcase here. So now what we'll do is like, we will uh, try executing uh, this particular uh, um, um, uh, alter statement with the uh, changed uh, uh, URL which basically points to the proper FKDN. So let's uh, execute it. I'm going to take another. It is complete now. And then let's do the same thing for uh, this one. Let's try running this one also one more time. So this is done now. So let's verify it. So if we see here, the read-only routing is um, um, having the proper FQDN. So now what you'll do is like, we will try the connection again. So uh, it is like I'm trying to connect to uh, the listener. I have the database and then let's try connecting. I'm able to connect to it. So if I see now, let's check the server name. And this time it is uh, not connected to the primary. So we'll do the same thing. Let's open another uh, command window and then see uh, it one more time. So command prompt and then if I connect, disconnected, let's do a select at that server name. And if you see here, uh, it is connected to the other secondary. So the first query uh, basically connected to JBS AG2 and the second query connected to JBS AG3. So it is pretty clear like we are able to uh, connect to, uh, um, uh, to the secondary replicas when we are using this um, iPhone K read only. So what we'll do now, we will try connecting um, um, uh, the listener with a switch of application intent from the SSMS. So uh, let's select the listener name, which is JBS APP. Click on options and uh, the database should be connected to a database that is present in the availability group. In my case, it is JBS Wiki. Let's go to the additional connection parameters and then key in application intent is equal to read only. And then let's click on connect. So we are getting this error. Uh, um, uh, there is a spelling mistake. So let's give that C here and then uh, it is application. Application intent is equal to read only. So let's try connecting to it. So we are connected now. So let's click on a new query window and then do a select at, at the server name. So if you see here, we are connected to JBS APP. So let's uh, try executing it. So right now I'm able to see that um, um, uh, it is connected to JBS AG2. So again, uh, JBS AG1 is the primary replica. We use the application intent uh, switch and then try connecting to it. And then we were able to see that the connection is basically connected to the, one of the secondary. Let's do one more time and then see uh, what is the uh, server name there. Select at its server name. And this time it is JBS AG3. So the first connection uh, result to JBS AG2 and second connection uh, results to JBS AG3. So this way we were able to um, uh, demo um, uh, read-only routing list and also the load balancing uh, that comes with uh, the read-only routing list. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.